everyone, I'm Chelmy. And I'm her hubby. And we're here to review the new Nintendo Amiibo figures. Um, we bought these at Toys R Us for three for thirty dollars, which was a really good deal because they're normally like twelve ninety nine, or some places have them for thirteen ninety nine. Um, but we haven't gotten our game yet. We're supposed to get the Smash Brothers for the Wii U, and. It hasn't come yet because we pre-ordered it from Toys R Us with a figure. We got the figure for free by pre-ordering pre it with Toys R Us. And we haven't gotten it yet, so we can't even use these yet. But we wanted to review them for you because we're really excited about them. And these figures are really, really cool looking. So we have Pikachu and Marth and Kirby as well. Yeah. So, um... Let's flip these around so we can see the backs of them. So our Marth box got a little destroyed. I'm not sure how. <laughs> we uh, pre-ordered it at Toys R Us in the store and they gave us this really smashed looking one. So that was a little sad, but we're gonna take them out of the packaging anyways. Yeah. Um, so this is what the back of the packaging looks like. You know, they just kind of show how you use these Amiibos. This is kind of how you use the Amiibos. You put them on the Wii U gamepad, which, um, I'd like to try it out soon uh, when we get the game, but eventually there should be a way to use the Amiibos with the 3DS. Um, we have the 3DS games, but I don't know when well, they're going to do that. There'll be a separate attachment for 3DS is to use Amiibos, but that'll be in a later time. So in the meantime, it'll mainly be used for Wii U for games such as Super Smash Bros., Mario Kart 8, Hyrule Warriors, or the upcoming uh, Mario Party 10. Oh, okay. See, he's the, he's the game guy. Nah. <laughs> so, we're going to open these now and we'll show you the figures inside. So, here they are out of the packaging. And I thought the packaging looked pretty cool. But these are super nice looking, don't you think? They do look pretty nice. I, I think Kirby and Pikachu are so cute. And Marth looks like he has some really cool details to him. But um, let's look at each one a little bit closer. They're each on these little bases. As you can see, and they have the Super Smash Brothers symbol underneath them in gold. So let's look at Pikachu a little closer here. He's so cute, don't you think? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, you know, it, he just looks like normal Pikachu. His ears are one's pointed to the side and one's sticking more up, but he just has the cutest expression on his face, as always. He's always super adorable. And these seem really well painted. Yeah, you know, we picked out the better ones, but, you know, overall, they were all pretty good. Yeah, they all looked really good. Um, you know, there was some, a little bit of paint things here and there, but very, very small. You know, we're picky. At least yeah. I'm really picky. And um, so, actually, you know, they're pretty good. So, here's Marth. You want to talk about Marth? Well, yeah, we got Marth here from the Fire Emblem series, and... Uh, it's got a nice little pose, got his little rubbery <laughs> looking sword. Yeah, it is a little rubbery, a little rubbery isn't it? Rubbery, and you know, he's not bad looking. Um, he's got a lot of details, like, you know, all his clothing and like on his boots, he's got the laces and everything. Looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad. He's got the Smash Brothers emblem on his base too. I'm pretty sure most of them will have that for a while, but. Uh, yeah, they look like they all have that. I guess it's just to resemble the trophies inside the game, so it's a pretty cool. Oh, figure. that's that's a good point that they you know resemble the trophies that are in the game. Oh, look at the back of his cape here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, that's a uh, he looks pretty cool. I like all his details. Pretty cool. And he's much taller than the other two figures. Good. <laughs> so here is Kirby. Oh my gosh! Look at his eyes and his little smile. He's so adorable. <laughs> and he's just sitting. That's his pose. Looks like there's a crease on the back of him, but that's probably just from molding and stuff. But I don't know. He is super cute, and he looks very, you know, simple Kirby. And I just, I had to have this one. I, I was like, hey, hubby, I have to get Kirby because he's so adorable. And I like to play as Kirby sometimes, too. I'm really looking forward to getting the villager if we can find him because I like to play as a villager. I don't know how deep we're going to get into collecting these, but I at least want the villager. We'll have to see. The villager's going to be pretty hard to find, just like Marth and the Wii Fit Trainer has been kind of tough to find lately. I'm glad we have Marth, though. 
Okay, so we're just going to show you a quick demo with Mario Kart 8 um, since we do not have Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U yet since the pre-order hasn't come in. Um, so um, we'll let my husband take over and he's going to show you a quick demo. So yeah, we have, we're on the main menu on Mario Kart 8 and it says to go into the Amiibo thing. You just push plus and by using Amiibos on this game you can unlock different outfits and costumes for your Mii racers. And once you're at this screen, for example, you would just put your figure on the bottom left section here and they'll quickly scan it and it'll say, hey, you unlocked a new outfit. Hooray. But we already unlocked it, so. <laughs> yeah, we tested it before. It's simple, quick, easy. It works pretty darn well. It's pretty cool. Kirby likes the suit. Matches his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our review of the new Amiibo figures, um, at least these three of Pikachu, Marth, and Kirby. Um, let me know down below if you have any of the Amiibo figures and have you used them yet. Uh, what do you think of them? And yeah, that kind of stuff. So um, I will see you next time for another review. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.